This class is called Power Yoga with Twist. The theme is twists, twisting out the spine, wringing out the spine, cleansing the spine. So we'll begin with the class with some sun salutations. Bring your arms up overhead, stretch up nice and tall, and bring your arms to prayer. Again, bringing your arms up, stretch up, lengthening the size of the body, bringing your arms down into prayer. One more time, bring your arms up, stretch up to the sky, hands into prayer. Beginning sun salutation A, arms come up, stretching up, bending forward into Uttanasana, forward fold. Hold here, opening up the backs of the legs to release the spine. Start to come up, look forward into half Uttanasana, jumping back into high plank, lowering down into now low plank, Chaturanga. Upward dog, pull the shoulders back, and coming back, downward dog. Please stay here, start to loosen out the backs of the legs, lengthen out the sides of the body, pushing equally with the inside and the outside of the palms. Start to bend your knees and pushing forward back into Uttanasana, forward fold, come up halfway and then come down, forward fold, root your tailbone to rise back up to the sky, arms up overhead, slight back bend, and arms to prayer position. Going again, bringing the arms up, up overhead, stretch the sides of the body, coming forward, forward fold. Come up halfway, look forward, lengthen the spine. Bend your knees even to lengthen out your spine as much as you can, looking forward, pulling the shoulder blades back onto the back. Back into Uttanasana, forward fold, and then stepping back into high plank. Pull the shoulders back again onto the back, lowering down Chaturanga. Coming up to Upward Dog, pull the shoulders back, then bringing yourself back into Downward Dog. Keep the breath moving. Start to bend your knees, looking forward, coming forward into Uttanasana, inhaling. And exhale, fold into forward fold. Inhale, root the tailbone, come up, rise. The arms above the head, slight back bend, root the tailbone. Back into mountain pose. And again, bringing the arms up overhead, stretching up to the sky and coming forward into Uttanasana. Exhale. Inhale, come up halfway. Step or jump back into high plank. Exhaling down into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, pull the shoulders back. This time, twisting to your right, pull your right shoulder back and your left shoulder back, lengthening out the right leg. Come back to center, twisting over to the left, over the left shoulder. Pull the right shoulder back. Back to center. Back into downward dog. Stretch it out. A couple deep breaths here. Starting to loosen up the spine. By opening up the backs of the legs, we start to release the spine. Stepping forward into half Uttanasana. Coming forward into full Uttanasana. Root the tailbone, begin to rise up, hands overhead, slight back bend, root the tailbone and exhaling back into mountain pose. Bringing the arms up overhead. 
Coming forward into forward fold, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Step or jump back into high plank. Exhaling down into chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, pull the shoulders back. Twisting to the right. Pull the left shoulder back, opening up the chest. Starting to twist over to the left. Pull the left leg back slightly, more than the right. Pull the right shoulder back, opening up the heart. Back to center, and then back into downward dog. Couple breaths here, lengthen it out. Preparing to come back forward into Uttanasana, bending the knees, looking forward, pushing off into forward fold, halfway lift, and then full forward fold. Root the tailbone to rise, arms up overhead. Root the tailbone again to come into a back bend, back into mountain pose, hands in prayer position. Bring your arms down by your side. Taking a couple breaths here, preparing to enter into Sun Salutation B. Bending your knees, sweep your arms to the ground, bringing them up overhead. Sitting into a chair, into Ukatasana, awkward pose. Coming forward into a forward fold. Inhale halfway. Jump back, high plank, lowering down to low plank. Inhale, Cobra Pose or Upper Dog. Exhale, back into a Downward Dog. Bringing your right leg up, back behind you, straight, keeping your hips square. Bring your leg forward, planting it next to your right thumb, coming up into a lunge. The back foot's at a 45 degree angle, arms up overhead, Warrior One. Coming back down, into high plank, lowering down low plank, chaturanga, upward dog, and then back into downward dog. Going to the other side, left leg up, straight, keep the hips square, stepping forward, coming up into a lunge on the left side, back leg at a 45 degree angle, and then bringing your arms back down, bring yourself back into a high plank, Lowering down low plank, coming into an upward dog, back into downward dog. In the down dog, you want to think about squeezing your forearms in towards the midline and then melting your heart down towards your thighs. Preparing to step forward, jumping back into forward fold, lengthening the spine halfway up and then full forward fold. Back into awkward pose, bending the knees. Standing up and back into mountain pose, hands in prayer. Bending the knees, coming back into awkward pose, hands overhead, looking up. Forward fold, exhale, legs straight. Bend the knees if you need to, to rise halfway. Jump back into high plank, lowering down low plank. Inhale, upward dog. And back into down dog. This time bringing your right leg back up, keeping the hips square. Swinging it forward, right foot to right thumb. Coming back up into warrior one. Arms up overhead, root the tailbone. Bringing the arms back down, lowering down into low plank. Inhale, upward dog, back into downward dog. Left side, take the left leg up. Swing it forward, left foot to left thumb. Bring it up into warrior one. Arms up overhead, root the tailbone for the back bend. Lengthen the back leg strong. 
come forward, arms plant, back into high plank, lower down to low plank, inhale back into upward dog, and exhaling back into the downward facing dog. Preparing to step forward or jump forward, bend the knees, look forward, step forward, halfway lift, exhale forward fold. Root the tailbone to rise, bending the knees into awkward pose. Arms up overhead, and then back into mountain pose. Hands into prayer. And then bring your arms down by your side, Tadasana. Bending your knees back into Ukatasana. Sweep your arms down to the ground, bring them up overhead, looking up. Sit back down into your heels. Folding forward into forward fold. Inhale to rise halfway. Bending the knees, jump back into a high plank. Lowering down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And then back into downward dog. Taking the right leg up again. Keeping the hip square. You want to push through the back heel. Swing your leg forward, right leg to right thumb, rising up to warrior one. Back leg is straight and strong. Coming now into warrior two, your hips are square to the left. Sitting down, rooting the tailbone. Lengthening the right side of the body, coming forward into side angle pose. So stretch it forward, take the right hand down, the left arm comes up and over, taking bicep to ear. Scoop the right sitting bone forward, underneath and forward. To start the twist, twisting the rib cage around towards the sky. Rooting your legs to rise straight back into goddess posture, leaning back. The front leg is bent still at the 90 degree angle. Your back leg is strong. You're not resting on your back leg. Your hand should just be lightly touching the back leg. And then coming back forward into high plank, lowering down low plank, coming up upward dog, and then back into downward facing dog. Exhale. Still on the right side, take the right foot to the right thumb, coming up into triangle pose. So straightening the front leg and starting to twist open towards the sky. Bring your top hand up towards the sky. The bottom hand is to the outside of the front foot. Preparing for half moon pose, Bending the right leg, pushing forward into half moon. The back heel pushes back, flexing the feet. Both legs are strong, starting to twist open towards the sky. Preparing to step back into Trikonasana, so bending the standing leg, step way back, coming into triangle pose lengthening the underside of the torso. Both legs straight and strong. Make sure the inside of the front foot is pushing into the ground as well. Now coming back into a high plank, lowering down to low plank, coming into upward dog, and then back home to downward dog. Couple breaths here in downward dog before we move to the other side. So the left leg will start to go up back behind you. Keep the hips square. Swinging the left leg forward to left thumb. Bring yourself back up into warrior one. Opening up into warrior two so the hips open up to the right. Sink down, root the tailbone. Scoop the tailbone, back leg is strong. Coming into side angle pose, but lengthening the front side of your body as you come forward, placing the hand on the outside of the foot, 
coming into the full pose, bicep to ear. Scoop the left sitting bone forward to start to open up to the twist. Bring yourself back up now, going straight into goddess posture. So leaning back, taking the back arm, sliding it down the back leg. Keep the front leg bent at a 90 degree angle. Begin to windmill your arms back down, forward, coming into a high plank, lowering down low plank. Inhale, upper dog, and exhaling, coming back into downward dog. Couple breaths here. Preparing for Trikonasana, triangle pose on the left side, so taking the left leg forward to the left thumb, straightening out the front leg, coming into triangle pose, creating a triangle between the torso, the arm, and the leg on the front leg. Coming forward now into half moon pose. Back leg is strong and straight, pushing the heel back and then starting to twist open towards the sky. Coming back, stepping back into Trikonasana. Front leg is straight, underside of the torso is nice and long. Arm up and twist, opening up the heart. Back into high plank, lowering down low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Hold it here and then back into your downward dog. Couple breaths here. Taking the right leg up again, step it forward, bringing yourself up into Anjaniyasana, straight legged lunge. Preparing for a twist, twisting the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Push the back heel back so the back leg goes straight and then start to pull the right shoulder back. Coming into a deeper twist, placing the hand down onto the ground if it's possible, taking the top hand up towards the sky, reversed side angle. Really starting to wring out the spine. Bringing your top arm bicep to ear if possible. You can keep your back heel up for now. And then slowly make your way out of it, back into high plank. Lowering down low plank, upward dog, and back home, downward facing dog. Coming on to the other side, Take the left leg up. Bring it forward, straight legged lunge. Coming up, arms overhead. Hands into prayer. Twisting right elbow, this time across left knee. Pushing the right heel back, starting to twist. So you're not resting on your left leg, you're using it as leverage to twist open. Taking the top shoulder back as well. You can now place your right hand on the ground, taking your left hand up to the sky for a deeper twist. Back heel is still up. Reversed side angle pose on the left side. Bring yourself into the full pose by taking the bicep over to the ear. And then bringing yourself back out, coming into a high plank. Coming down low plank, chaturanga. Inhaling, upper dog, and 
and then back into downward facing dog. Going back over to the right side, we're gonna do the same thing with a slightly deeper version of the twist. Taking the right leg up, bringing it forward to the right thumb, coming back up to a straight legged lunge. Arms up overhead and then coming into prayer position. Taking the left elbow outside the right knee again. Straight into the full pose. This time coming into a bind, top hand reaches back behind you, bottom hand reaches underneath the front thigh, coming into the bind, twisting even deeper using the core strength to hold you, pulling the top shoulder back, and then coming into the full pose by rooting the back heel down. And now releasing into high plank. Coming down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And coming back into downward facing dog. Couple breaths here. Coming onto the other side, taking the left leg up. Bringing the left leg forward to the left thumb. Coming up into straight legged lunge. Arms up overhead and then coming into prayer position. Taking the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Keep the back leg strong and straight. Starting to twist open, taking the hand down and the top hand up. Coming into the bind, take the top hand back behind you. And then take the bottom hand underneath your thigh clasping your hand, coming into the full bind, twisting top shoulder back, coming into the full pose, place your back foot at a 45 degree angle, coming into the full reversed side angle pose. Slowly coming out, take your hands back down to the ground and lower down, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, roll over your toes into downward facing dog. Coming into a little core exercise, side plank pose. So bring your feet together, rolling onto the right side of the right foot and onto the right hand, coming into Vashistasana on the right side. Taking the left hand onto the hip, and then eventually up into the sky, looking up when you have the balance. So your whole side is straight, the whole length of your body is straight. Bringing yourself back into downward facing dog. Bringing your feet together to come onto the other side. So you're coming onto the outer edge of the left foot and the left hand to come onto side plank on the left side, Vashistasana on the left side, eventually looking up towards the sky. And then bringing your top arm back down to the ground, coming back down into downward facing dog. Stretch it out, make sure your fingers are really spread apart and the sides of your body are stretching nice and long. Preparing to come forward, bending the knees, step forward into Uttanasana. Lengthen forward, half lift, and then come down, full forward fold. Bring yourself all the way up to standing position. Little back bend here if you'd like, and then come back, mountain pose, hands into prayer. Moving into a little balancing series here. So we're gonna start balancing on the left leg first. So you're gonna bring your right leg up, grab a hold of the big toe from the inside, and straighten out that right leg, 
pushing the left thigh back and rooting the tail to get the balance. Start to bring your right leg out towards the right, opening up the hips. Again, keep pushing that bottom thigh back. Bring it back to center. Now you're going into the twist. So you're going to take the left hand to the outside of the right foot and then start to twist around to the right, stretching out the right hand back behind you, looking over top of your right shoulder, bringing the right shoulder back. Keep pushing the left thigh back. Bring yourself back and then slowly release back into mountain pose. Take a nice deep inhale and then we're gonna move on to the other side. So coming onto your right leg this time, grab a hold of the left toe from the inside of the leg. Straighten it out and then when you have your balance, Start to slowly bring the left leg out to the left. Keep pushing that right thigh back. Bring it back to center, going for the twist. Switch the hand, so take the right hand to the outside of the left foot and start to twist around, looking over top of the left shoulder this time. Twist all the way around. Keep the tailbone rooted as you slowly make your way out of the posture and releasing the leg, coming back out the same way you went in, coming back into mountain posture. Take a nice inhale, bringing your arms down by your side and a nice exhale, preparing for the next sun salutation, going into pigeon pose. So bringing your arms up overhead, Stretching up, really lengthening the sides of the body, rooting the tail, coming forward into a forward fold, Uttanasana. Coming up halfway, looking forward, jumping back or walking back into high plank, lowering down into low plank. Coming into upward dog, bring the shoulders back. Coming back into downward dog, then taking a breath here. Taking the right leg up now and bringing it across your mat into pigeon pose. So trying to get it parallel to the front of your mat as much as you can, keeping the hips square. Bring your shoulders back, look up, and slowly start to melt your heart down, keeping the shoulder blades on the back. The hips stay square. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Now you're gonna slowly start to bring yourself back up, going into a twist. So you're taking your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and bring your hands into prayer position, using the leverage of your knee to elbow connection to bring you into the deeper twist. Keeping your hips square, pulling your top shoulder back. and releasing back into Pigeon. Going to the other side now, this time you're taking your right elbow to the inside of the sole of the right foot, and then bring your hands into prayer, pulling your left shoulder back and twisting the opposite direction. Again, keeping the hips square and eventually looking up towards the ceiling, holding it here. Use the foot as leverage this time. Slowly bring yourself back out of the posture, back into pigeon. Lifting yourself back up and bringing yourself back into downward facing dog. Inhaling and exhaling, moving towards the other side now. Taking the left leg up, bringing it across the body, trying to get that leg 
parallel to the front of the mat. Pull the shoulders back. And then slowly start to melt the heart down. Keeping the shoulder blades on the back. Take an inhale and slowly start to bring yourself up for the twist. Taking the right elbow outside of the left knee. Bringing your hands into prayer and starting to twist open. Again, not resting your body onto the thigh, but rather using the leverage of the thigh and the elbow to twist. Slowly release, coming back into pigeon. And then going on to the other side, you're going to bring yourself back up and taking the left elbow into the sole of the left foot and bringing your hands into prayer, this time twisting the opposite direction, but your hips stay as square as possible. Taking that top shoulder back, getting into a deeper twist as you let your head twist as well. And then slowly start to release yourself from the twist and bring yourself back into pigeon. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Twists are amazing for cleansing the spine. Slowly place your hands down and bring yourself back into downward facing dog. Take a nice inhale, lengthen out the sides of the body, and take a nice exhale. Coming into some seated postures, so coming onto your knees for Supta Virasana, Sleeping Hero's Pose. Bringing your knees together if possible, sitting in between your feet. Slowly start to move onto your elbows, if that's comfortable for you. You can go into your full pose by resting onto the shoulders, bringing your hands up overhead, grabbing onto opposite elbows, sleeping hero's pose. Keep the tail rooted. This is still a back bend. Take a nice deep inhale, and then slowly bring your hands onto your feet and roll up, bringing your head up last, coming back into a seated position, and then coming forward, bringing yourself back into downward facing dog. You're gonna bend your knees and jump forward into a seated position, crossing your legs. Always being aware that your back is straight. Moving into Janusha Shasana now. Stretch your right leg out straight, bending your left knee so that the heel sits into the groin. Take the left hand to the outside of the right foot, coming into a twist, pulling the right shoulder back. And then slowly, bending forward so that your heart moves onto the front thigh, lengthening the whole left side of the body as well. Slowly start to lift yourself back up, this time taking your right arm to the inside of the right leg. If you can grab onto your foot, please do so bringing your left arm up and over and also aiming to grab your foot. Big stretch for the left side and also moving into a twist, twisting the right rib cage around. Coming back up, coming into rock stars so the left foot plants down, the right leg is still straight left elbow onto the left knee 
and then you're going to push up into a back bend. The left knee stays bent, but the right leg is still straight, and the right arm is straight, pushing into the ground. Bring your left hand all the way back behind you. Slowly release, coming back into a seated position. And moving straight into a twist, keeping the left knee bent, pushing the left arm into the left knee, and looking back behind you. Coming into a bind, wrap the hand around the knee behind you, grabbing a hold of the right hand behind your back. Keep the back straight. And then slowly release. Twist the opposite direction, taking the right elbow outside of the left knee. Taking the left hand back behind you and twisting the opposite direction, keeping the back as straight as possible. Coming into a bind the other way, wrapping the right arm around the knee and the left hand behind your back to clasp. Again, trying to keep the back as straight as possible, even in these awkward postures. And then slowly release back to the center. Lengthen out the left leg, preparing for a forward fold. Bring the arms up overhead, and then come forward for Paschimottanasana. Heart melts onto the thighs. Keep engaging the legs to release the spine, flexing the feet towards the face. Inhaling and exhaling. Slowly come back up, bring the arms up. This time moving to the other side Keeping the left leg out straight, pulling the right leg back, taking the heel into the groin. Taking the right hand to the outside of the left leg and pulling back for a twist, taking that back shoulder back behind you. And then releasing and coming into a forward fold. Keep the right hip anchored down. And then slowly come up, twisting the other way, taking the left arm on the inside of the left leg. If you can grab a hold of the foot, please do so, and take the other arm up and over, twisting the underside of the rib cage around. And then slowly come up, planting the right foot onto the ground, coming into rock star, taking the right elbow onto the right knee, taking the left hand back behind you and then pushing up into a back bend. This time the left leg is straight and the right knee is bent, bringing the right arm way back behind your head. And then slowly releasing, coming back into a seated position, keeping the legs as they are, pushing into that right knee, twisting over top of your left shoulder. Coming into a bind, wrap around the knee and grab your hand behind your back. Try and sit up as straight as possible by anchoring down through the left thigh. Both shoulders pull back. And then slowly release, twisting the other way, taking the right hand back behind you, taking the left elbow to the outside of the right knee twisting over top of your right shoulder. Going for the bind, wrapping the left arm around the front side of the knee and around the back. Grabbing hold of your hand behind your back, sitting up nice and straight, pulling the shoulders back. And then slowly push your left thigh down. Undo the bind, release. Coming into forward fold, straighten out that right leg. Bring your arms up overhead and come forward, Paschimottanasana. Melting the heart onto the thighs. Flex your feet. By engaging the backs of the legs, you can release the spine. Melt a little bit deeper. 
keep breathing. And slowly push your thighs down into the ground to rise. Come bring your hands back up overhead and then down by your side. Shoulder stand. By rocking yourself down, you swing your legs up, placing your hands on your lower back, and slowly start to walk your hands up your back, trying to get your whole body as straight as possible and then allow your shoulders to move away from your ears. Slowly coming into Halasana, Plow Pose. Slowly start to bring your toes back behind you overhead. Try and keep your back as straight as possible once you reach the ground, you can bring your arms down, interlace your hands, keep straightening up the back by pushing the hips up towards the ceiling. Keep pushing the legs out straight and pulling the shoulders down away from the ears. Keep the breath flowing even when the throat is slightly constricted. This is really good for building your immune system as it's an inversion and it's also activating your throat. Slowly start to roll down one vertebrae at a time until eventually you're lying flat on your back. Coming into the last couple postures, going into a twist. Bringing your right knee across your body. Taking your right hand out towards the right as you bring your right knee down on the ground on the left. Try and get both shoulders on the ground, especially the right shoulder as the knee comes closer to the ground, wringing out the spine for your final twists. And then slowly release, coming back onto your back, this time bringing up the left knee, taking a hold of it with the right hand, bringing it across your body, left knee goes to the ground on the right side and the left hand comes out. The left rib cage is also coming around to deepen the twist. And then slowly start to release, coming into Shavasana dead body posture, palms facing up towards the sky, resting comfortably for your final relaxation pose. Feeling the effects of the posture, noticing how the spine feels, sometimes you might feel slightly longer. Spinal twists are great for cleansing the body cleansing the bowels, releasing toxins, and also releasing any compressions in the back. Take a nice deep inhale, and exhale, relaxing the body completely, and just lying still for the last few minutes of your practice. <laughs> 